separation from sorrows caused by ignorance and ayatan means expansion mokshaidan is not the destination but just a way to perfection and liberation from the bondages of us. Mokshaitan has gained broad recognition because of its multi-dimensional activities and human utility. It has attracted the dignitaries and yoke seekers from across the globe alike, including small kids, to the president of the nation. Aim of Mokshaitan Yoga Sansthan is physical, mental and emotional balance and cultivate the great cultural and spiritual heritage of India. It also aims at developing sense of responsibility and towards re-establishing the human values in this society. society through its various projects spread in several countries mokshaitan yoga since thans few of the various prar national integration new responsibilities lecture series life savers unit live blood bank cow protection rashtra vandana mission sanskar shiksha abhiyan women empowerment cleanliness drive publications and healthcare centers educational institutes public yoga camps for classes and masses cultural wing yagya shala bharat yoga media transforming prisoners behavioral science and stress releasing project for indian forces mokshaitan yoga sansthan has changed the lives of millions all over the globe with its various projects mokshaitan came out as the first yoga institute to prepare covid-19 prevention and management protocol it initiated the unique horseback yoga and has spread the science of yoga internationally especially the rural areas mokshaitan under the shraddha gurudev swami bharat bhushan ji will continue to serve the humanity at large So this was a glimpse of the vast activities of Mokshaitan Yoga Sansthan. Now we have among us Sri Ishwar Basavari DG, Director of Morarji Desai National Institute of Yoga, Advisor Yoga at Ministry of Ayush, and a member of several yoga committees of Government of India. He has served widely in promotion and propagation of cultural traditional yoga. I thank him for accepting our invitation, and I request uh, Shri Ishwar Basavari DG to kindly say a few words. Om Shanti 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 Hi. Uh, respected uh, Swami Ji, and you are always the. guiding force and uh, for many of the great initiatives of mdn y and of ministry of ayush and uh, honorable director general of uh, iccr and my uh, i may call yoga charini or our dear daughter pratishta and all the yoga lovers present here and my sadar pranams to you all it's a great occasion for the mokshaitan yoga ashram and it's uh, only one year for its 50th birthday and uh, i do know from uh, more than two decades and nearly 70 17 years of our close association with uh, swami ji and i have seen the growth of uh, pratishta uh, as a child and she was studying in college during the last 17 years so i i it gives me a lot of uh, happiness and pleasure as a member of the yoga community family members and uh, they are serving for the entire humanity first of all i congratulate swami ji for uh, all these initiatives and also uh, our greetings from the ministry of ayush and uh, morarji desai national institute of yoga for taking this initiative to promote yoga among the mass and class population of global uh, population 
uh, i do hope shall i talk in hindi or english uh, pratishta if uh, english is english uh, english english is better since it's a global right. yoga conference and people have joined it this is the one first one and uh, second uh, important point is uh, why it is so important uh, to conduct such seminars or workshops or conferences that is also by the leading yoga institutions because nowadays uh, uh, every day we can find uh, many webinars across the globe but there are only few who are having the authority on various uh, aspects and dimensions of yoga and swami ji and uh, his team is one of such authority that's why whatever they conduct it sends a message to the entire global population third aspect is uh, this year ministry of ayush uh, government of india under the guidance of our honorable prime minister sri narendra modi ji is targeting 25 crore participation in the idy 2022 on june 21st across the globe the ministry of ayush uh, iccr and various ministries and yoga institutions from the last more than 3 months working hard to sensitize the entire world population on the impact of yoga practice on health and well being this has become a global movement at the same time there is need say another push every time because the human nature itself is a uh, always drag towards the tamas <laughs> always there is a inertia what we call in english so we had to overcome the inertia the gurus also and the shishyas and the participants we had to complement each other that's why the such type of uh, uh conferences etc will motivate ourselves to motivate ourselves to set the bigger target and uh, involve more number of people maybe the new population for our group to expand the yoga family so this is the my idea of uh, seeing the any event on yoga. always i put some innovative ideas taking the things who are which are already there way forward and the new things and new people will join and listen to them patiently and inculcate or incorporate their ideas because nowadays uh, youngsters are have very tremendous ideas and uh, be open for that so that yoga has taken a new dimension in the last uh, more than 3 to 7 uh, to 8 years it has become a global phenomena earlier uh, when i was a student and we follow strictly one and half hour practice one by one nowadays uh, everybody is talking about yoga even one or two months they practice yoga start teaching yoga in this scenario we need to sensitize to maintain the quality of our teaching so four dimension is such type of conferences the experts view are helping us to yes anyhow we are practicing but there is no time bound or age bar for upgrading and improving our quality of practice therefore uh, this is the fourth dimension i am seeing in this conference the fifth dimension i am seeing that this is one point where we can meet many time we don't get the time to see each other you can see swami ji you can see me and uh, all others our dg sir is there and uh, all our yoga family to meet and uh, this meeting will create a positive energy so this is the one thing always we maintain so therefore uh, sorry uh, this is the one thing i am seeing always the conferences seminars now where it's not a physical meeting a lot of scope for us to overcome our differences and because in yoga swami ji will agree with so we uh, say union but we have we are not agreeing many things because we have following various schools of yoga and in yoga also there is no uniformity in teaching every school but 
everybody agrees once uh, the path may be different the goal is the same so to understand each other the such type of meetings and such type of physical meetings or online meeting frequently to exchange our views so where we can join uh, we can go together where we can not agree we can have a difference maintain that distance but not oppose and destructive way so that the the objective of our mission shall not be failed these are the five important dimension where swami ji uh, we all together do it with the ministry of fires with the ministry of external affairs and in md and i why uh, we listen to is always satsangas are very great in the evening in the national yoga week so we, these are the things i would like to mention now my view on the yoga so there are several aspects of yoga but first of all i take always five things if you want to practice so you begin whatever the fitness or wellness or therapy something you start doing yoga for 5 minutes 10 minutes as a capsule or 20 minutes you begin something whatever the mode i seen that some people are just casually i also started in my childhood just a practicing difficult asanas seeing others but later on uh, it helped me to improve my personality overcome my many of the disease conditions like this the dimensions of yoga as and when you go on practicing and i um, i think we can't uh, we can't hear ishwar basavari ji ji there is some network issue well uh, we would like to thank him for joining us and for uh, remembering those uh, beautiful days from uh, my student life as well since uh, as gurudev always say lot of water has flown from river ganga since then and we all ha have achieved so many milestones since past 17 years but it was really uh, it was really good to have him at this conference i uh, still remember recently i was invited at uh, uh, one of the uh, very popular program uh, at sunset tv diplomatic dispatch and uh, vikas swarup ji uh, one of a very eminent former diplomat um, he asked me this question in that program acharya ji what do you think what is the objective behind having yoga at un so i said uh, the objective is very clear objective is to give united nations objective is to give united nations its true meaning because yoga the word yoga means to unite and uh, taking yoga to united nations our honorable prime minister has given a new meaning right meaning to united nations because today when people are scattered when nations are scattered when individuals are scattered we need a science to synthesize and that science of synthesizing is yoga uh, i am again uh, thankful to basav reddy ji for joining us mukshaitan has worked immensely in promotion and propagation of indian culture and also runs the college of performing arts Uh, where uh, youngsters are trained in Indian classical music and dance and yoga, and the repertory of uh, this culture wing of Mokshaitan Yogesh's Thaan, named as Bharat College of Performing Arts, has performed widely at different corners of the world. Now, Mokshaitan has worked tirelessly in preserving the temple traditions of the classical dance of India. We are extremely honored. to have among us a true sanskritic dude uh, honorable director general of iccr shri kumar tuhinji i am really thankful to kumar tuhinji for accepting our invitation and for joining us at the inauguration of this uh, global yoga conference uh, kumar tuhinji is a senior diplomat and has served as the ambassador of india to hungary and namibia 
I have uh, personally witnessed uh, not just his love and devotion for yoga, but also the impact of yoga in his life and in everything he do. So I would like to thank uh, Kumar Tuhinji for joining us, and I request him to kindly uh, say a few words. Uh, respected uh, Gurudev Swami, Dr. Bharat Bhushan Ji, President of uh, Mukchayatan Yoga Sansthan, uh, Secretary Ayush, uh, Sri Vaidya Rajesh Kotecha Ji, Director of uh, uh, Moradi Desai National Institute of Yoga, Sri Ishwar Baswareddi Ji, uh, Director of uh, the Institute, Acharya Pratishtha Ji, uh, distinguished guests, speakers, yoga gurus from different countries, and yoga lovers who are joining this event today. Uh, my humble namaste to you all. As uh, the Director General of uh, Indian Council of Cultural Relations, which has been tasked with uh, promoting cultural exchanges with other countries and also to promote our culture and our heritage abroad and with uh, other countries. I am extremely pleased to join this event today and I welcome all the guests who are with us from different parts of the world joining this global yoga conference 2022, which is organized by Mokshatan Yoga Sansthan, which is one of the leading yoga institutes of India and has its uh, series of followers uh, in, uh, in many countries worldwide through its uh, Bharat Yoga campaign and which has been tirelessly working to protect and preserve the traditional and the classical form of yoga. Uh, now we are all aware that during the last few years, the whole world has seen uh, unprecedented challenges and uh, these challenges have severely impacted our health, uh, both uh, physical and emotional and our well-being. So I need not mention here that the message of yoga and the positive role that it brings in uh, in, uh, in uh, bringing to us the holistic health and in connecting us with ourselves, with our mind and with everything around us is so, so important. Uh, yoga and yoga is not only therefore India is one of the most well recognized soft power uh, tools. It is also one of the most uh, loved cultural heritage of India recognized outside. As has been mentioned earlier, it is not only confined to just uh, some body postures and movements or respiratory practices, but when seen in totality, it is actually the best way perhaps to bring the entire world to a sense of togetherness. And as Acharya ji was mentioning just now that uh, this is one of the things that can really give the true meaning to United Nations. Uh, it was also mentioned that the Bokhayatan has been involved in promoting Indian classical dance and music also through its uh, college of uh, music and dance and culture. And uh, since this is also one of the main tasks of ICCR, uh, therefore our our links and our cooperation and our ties with Moksh Chayatan has been long. Uh, I have been very happy to hear that uh, the Moksh Chayatan Yoga Sansthan has now entered into its uh, golden jubilee of establishment under the leadership of uh, Gurudev Swami, Dr. Bharat Bhushanji, who again I would like to thank personally for his uh, consistent support and cooperation with ICCR and his uh, his uh, experience, his wisdom, and his guidance has also strengthened our mission in, uh, uh, in ICCR in taking many of these things abroad. Now, I was mentioning about uh, how yoga has been uh, has been our one of the most recognized tools, and I have myself served abroad in some Indian missions, many Indian missions, but the last 
few years i have been directly involved in uh, organizing international day of yoga and we have i have personally seen how important this has been actually in bringing not only the people of that uh, country of that city together at that one place but also in that says bringing them together with other countries with uh, with india with other people who are performing yoga in different parts of the world and that way this feeling has truly been been i think mesmerizing which gives us a sense that i am not only from this particular city and country but in that moment in that uh, that sense we are united worldwide uh through so this global conference and uh, and other yoga activities worldwide which are being dedicated to international day of yoga uh i think the all of us and the entire world has got this opportunity of coming closer living better and also in many ways addressing uh, in many deeper in deeper ways some of those very profound and complex issues that are confronting uh, uh, global uh, trust and and the humanity uh therefore in this background i am sure that uh, this global yog conference will come forward with uh, many important uh, and productive uh, outcomes and suggestions and that will uh, help us uh, address some of these issues iccr had supported uh, this global event of mokshatan yog sansthan uh, last year as well and therefore i am extremely happy to see the feedback from across the world that has motivated us to join uh, and uh, join hands with uh, you all this year as well i am again very privileged to give a message at this occasion of unity and universal brotherhood uh, which uh, our honorable prime minister uh, shri narendra modi ji has been uh, giving to us uh, through various uh, fora various platforms and in fact his personal leadership in uh, in taking yoga to the world and to in many ways restoring the rightful place and retrieving this heritage uh, for us has been has been uh, really phenomenal so i once again convey my deep gratitude to to him to mokshatan yoga sansthan to the organizers to all of you and uh, my personal gratitude to you for uh, giving me this opportunity uh, to come and speak to you uh, and uh, my best wishes uh, for complete success of this conference thank you very much and namaste thank you thank you so much kumar tuhinji for such words of wisdom i would say you have sum up the message of uh, vasudhev kutumbakam and yatra vishwam bhavate kridam the universal brotherhood in very beautiful words uh as mentioned yoga is not just a mere set of physical exercises but a lifestyle that touches all the levels of human life and it is also a beautiful tool of soft diplomacy and that is clearly visible through the different initiatives of iccr i thank you once again for being a part of this global yoga conference and not just for joining hands but heads and hearts also and i'm sure we will be getting the support of iccr in the coming years as well like every year thank you so much now mokshatan yoga sansthan is an institute uh, of not just teaching yoga but is also a research institute which has healed millions of people worldwide through the science of yoga and has also trained thousands of yoga teachers we are extremely thankful to honorable secretary of ayush for accepting our invitation i request vedde rajesh potecha ji who himself is a decorated ayurveda expert and has been honored with padma shri for his contributions in the field of ayurveda to kindly deliver his message namaskar swami ji pujaniya bharat bhushan ji ko sadar pranam मोक्षायतन योग संस्थान स्वामी श्री पद्मश्री डॉक्टर भारत भूषण जी के संरक्षण में योग में प्रचार प्रसार शिक्षण और अनुसंधान के लिए विश्व विख्यात है विज्ञान और भारतीय संस्कृति के क्षेत्र में मोक्षायतन योग संस्थान अपनी उच्च परंपरा को बरकरार रखते हुए ईश्वर स्वी 
अंतरराष्ट्रीय योग दिवस पर विशेष कार्यक्रम के रूप में ग्लोबल योग कॉन्फ्रेंस का आयोजन कर रहा है इस कॉन्फ्रेंस में मॉरिशियस दक्षिण अफ्रीका ऑस्ट्रिया जापान कैनेडा वियतनाम ताइवान यूएसए आदि बहुत सारे देशों से विशेषज्ञ इसके अंदर पार्टिसिपेट कर रहे हैं और मैं इस ग्लोबल योग कॉन्फ्रेंस को इस वीडियो के माध्यम से आप सबको शुभ पार्टिसिपेट्स को शुभकामनाएं प्रस्तुत कर रहा हूं आपका स्वागत कर रहा हूं इस अंतर्राष्ट्रीय योग दिवस पर विभिन्न देशों के प्रख्यात योग गुरुओं एवं वक्ताओं का मार्गदर्शन आम नागरिकों के लिए बहुत विशेष महत्व रखता है क्योंकि ये जो अपना जो प्राचीन भारतीय स्वास्थ्य चिकित्सा पद्धति आयुर्वेद और योग है उसको प्रचार प्रसार ये उसको लोगों तक पहुंचाने के लिए अंतर्राष्ट्रीय योग दिवस ये बहुत महत्वपूर्ण माध्यम है और उस माध्यम के द्वारा पूरे विश्व में बहुत सारे कार्यक्रम हो रहे हैं और इस वर्ष भारत सरकार के आयुष मंत्रालय ने और बहुत सारी सब संस्थाएं जैसे मोक्षायतन योग संस्थान है सबने मिलकर के संकल्प लिया है कि पच्चीस करोड़ से ज्यादा लोगों का पार्टिसिपेशन इस इस योग दिवस पर हो इस वर्ष की योग दिवस की जो थीम है ये मानवता के लिए योग योग फॉर ह्यूमिनिटी वो है और हम सब मानवता के लिए योग के हम हम तो भारतीय संस्कृति के लोग हैं हमें जान जानते हैं वसुदेव कुटुम्ब कम हमारे संस्कृति में एक संस्कृति का एक पार्ट है हम पूरे विश्व को कोते हैं तो मानवता के लिए योग एक बहुत एप्ट ये एक प्रकार की थीम है और उस थीम को इस योग दिवस पर हम सब मिल करके बहुत बहुत बड़े स्तर पर प्रसारित कर रहे हैं ताकि योग घर घर में पहुँचे अंतरराष्ट्रीय योग दिवस में अनेक चीजें प्रथम बार देखने को मिल रही इस बार 2022 में जैसे एक गार्जियन रिंग योग गार्जियन रिंग नाम करके एक योग का रिले कार्यक्रम हम कर रहे हैं अंतरराष्ट्रीय योग दिवस का जैसे उन्नासी देश और एक यूएन मिशन 80 स्थानों पर इसका एक साथ सूर्योदय के समय सेलिब्रेशन होगा और ये सुबह तीन भारत के समय के अनुसार सुबह तीन बजे से रात्रि को दस बजे तक उसको हम कर रहे हैं उसका दूरदर्शन लाइव प्रसारण भी कर रहे हैं एक एक विशेष रूप से योग की गति के साथ योग को सूर्य की गति के साथ योग करना ये एक बहुत विशेष कार्यक्रम होगा ऐसे ही आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव के निमित्त पचहत्तर आइकोनिक लोकेशंस पर पूरे देश में बहुत बड़े बड़े कार्यक्रम कर रहे हैं अपने माननीय आदरणीय प्रधानमंत्री श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी प्रमुख कार्यक्रम इस बार में मैसूर में पार्टिसिपेट करेंगे और बहुत उत्साह के साथ भारतवर्ष में और विश्व भर में यो, योग दिवस के कार्यक्रम का आयोजन हो रहा है और इसमें प्रत्येक बार की भांति इस बार भी मोक्षायतन योग संस्थान बहुत बड़े स्तर पर इसको पढ़ रहे हैं इस पावन अवसर पर मैं आयुष मंत्रालय की ओर से मोक्षायतन योग संस्थान को अपनी शुभकामनाएं देता हूं और स्वामी श्री पद्मश्री डॉक्टर भारत भूषण जी को मेरा प्रणाम भी कहता हूँ धन्यवाद UN United Nations has declared 21st June as an International Day of Yoga and world has accepted yoga with broader hands hearts and heads since the word yoga means to unite so is the message and objective of this global yoga conference to unite people to unite world and to bring it at the same platform of love peace and humanity we are really really honored to welcome his excellency mat singh rupan ji president of the republic of mauritius at this global yoga conference during my deputation at mauritius as a senior diplomat i had the opportunity to work closely with his excellency and i have always witnessed a yogi in him beautifully representing the yoga definitions from bhagavad gita yoga karma sutra kaushalya 
before we request His Excellency to kindly deliver his message, I wish to extend my heartfelt gratitude to his taking out time and for being a part of this global yoga conference organized by Mokshaitan Yoga Sansthan, supported by Ministry of Ayush and ICCR to benefit humanity at large. I request His Excellency to kindly deliver his message. Bhushadan Yog Sansthan ki adyaksh Swami Dr. Bharat Bhushan ji, Mananya Sri Sarbhanan Sunuval ji, Ayush Mantri, Bharatiya Sanskritik Parishad ki adyaksh Sri Vinay Sahasra Budhi ji, Sri Tuhin Kumar ji, ICCR ki Mahani Deshak, Ayush ki Sachiv, Sri Vedya Rajesh Kuti Chaji, Yog Sansthan Ki Nideshika Acharya Pratishtaji, distinguished delegates from various parts of the world, Yog Gurus or Premio, Mauritius Ki Or Se, Hamara Pyar Bhara Namaskar. Greetings from the Republic of Mauritius. Sabhi ko antarrashtriya yoga divas ki hardik shubh kamna hai. Main Bharat ki pachatarve swatantata divas ki avsar par bhi sabhi Bharat vashiyon ko azadi ka amrit mahutsav ki badhai deta hu. 2022 ki is vishwa yog samilan ke udgatan ke liye आपके साथ शामिल होकर मुझे बहुत खुशी की अनुभूति हो रही है मैं मुक्षदान योग संस्थान की निदेशिका आचार्य प्रतिष्ठा जी को अपने निवेदन के लिए धन्यवाद देता हूं मुझे यह बात जानकर बहुत खुशी हुई कि योग संस्थान इस साल अपने 50वें वर्षगांठ मना रहा है तो मैं संस्थान को बहुत बधाई देता हूं और आशा करता हूं कि वे योग की मानवीय पहलू को दुनिया भर में फैलाते रहेंगे लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन आई फील इंडीड डिलाइटेड टू इनोग्रेट द ग्लोबल योगा कॉन्फ्रेंस 2022 organized by Mokshadan Yog Sansthan, the leading yoga institute of India, to mark the eighth International Day of Yoga. I thank the director, Acharya Prachishtaji, for her kind invitation and commend her for the organization of this webinar on the importance of the practice of yoga. I'm glad to learn that on Yog Sansthan, Pioneer Yoga Institute of India, with global reach, is celebrating its 50th anniversary this year. So, I would like to extend my heartfelt congratulations to the center and wish that it continues to spread the humanitarian aspects of yoga across the globe. Ladies and gentlemen, Yoga is a priceless gift and forms part of ancient Indian civilization, which was even mentioned in the Vedas. In the true spirit of Vashudev Kutumbakam, the science of self-yoga is destined to benefit humanity, the entire globe, without any discrimination. Mauritius shares common roots with India, an Indian civilization of which yoga and spirituality are important components, is well known in Mauritius. In Mauritius, yoga has been taught by various visiting gurus and swamis as far back as the 1950s. 
But it is said that it was Swami Vivekasananda of the Shivananda Ashram and Divine Life Society and disciple of the great Swami Shivananda of Rishikesh in the Himalayas who actually introduced and democratized yoga in Mauritius. He trained a host of yoga instructors all around the island and it is thanks to Swamiji that the practice of yoga has become a way of life of so many Mauritians of different origins be it in towns and villages. Today there are various centers across the island which are selflessly contributing in spreading the universal message of Vasudev Kutumbakam and Yoga for Humanity as preached by the Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modiji. We have also eight Ayurvedic clinics across the island run by the Ministry of Health and Quality of Life. Ladies and gentlemen, Humanity shall forever remain grateful to Sri Narendra Modiji, who made the proposal for the introduction of yoga as the United Nations and for making the 21st June the International Day Yoga. As he mentioned, yoga is an invaluable gift from our ancient tradition. It is the unity of mind and body, thought and action. A holistic approach valuable to our health and well-being. Yoga is not merely a physical exercise, but also a way to discover the sense of oneness with nature and the world. Since 2015, 15. Every year, on the 21st of June, the world has been celebrating the International Day of Yoga. And I'm glad to comment and note that the Indian embassies all over the world have been taking an active part in this celebration. Mauritius has also been regularly, every year, marking this important day at the highest level with a close collaboration of the Indian High Commission. Various ministries, the Ministry of Health and Quality of Life, the Ministry of Public Services, have been organizing various activities in this context. I myself, as former Minister of Arts and Culture, have been part of such events on a regular basis. And I'm glad to share with you that this year again, I shall, along with my spouse, join the upcoming National Yoga Sessions on the 21st June. This year, the event will be organized as the Aprabasit iconic UNESCO World Heritage Site. The GAT is akin to a place of pilgrimage and is an important symbol of Mauritian identity. It stands as a major historic testimony of the arrival of our forefathers as indentured laborers from different parts of India and holds deep sentimental values for our two brotherly nations. For us, it is a matter of great pride that yoga joined the UNESCO Intercultural Heritage List in December 2016, together with our local Bhojpuri Gid Gawai. We are proud to have been among those countries which strongly supported the nomination dossier during the 11th session of the Intergovernmental Committee for the safeguarding of the intangible cultural heritage of UNESCO held in Ethiopia. 
the high-level delegation led by none other than the Minister of Arts and Culture supported India in this endeavor. Ladies and gentlemen, the theme chosen this year by Sri Narendra Modi ji, Yoga for Humanity, is most fitting as he portrays how yoga has served humanity in mitigating sufferings during the COVID-19 pandemic. Indeed, yoga turned out to be a powerful tool to deal with the stress of uncertainty and isolation, as well as to maintain physical well-being. According to an impact study conducted by the Delhi Pharmaceutical Sciences and Research University, over 92% of COVID-19 patients who attended yoga classes during the lockdown period test immediate improvement in overall symptoms. Simple yoga asanas and pranayama have proven to help boost our immune system and people around the world have embraced yoga practice to stay healthy and rejuvenated and also to fight social isolation. It is worth mentioning that on 19th April last, the Director General of the WHO, while acknowledging the potential of traditional medicines practices, proceeded on the on-site launch of the new WHO Global Center for Traditional Medicine in Jamanagar, Gujarat, along with Modiji. I wish to highlight that the Prime Minister of Mauritius, Honorable Pravin Kumar Jagnat, who attended the ceremony, announced the construction of the Ayush Center of Excellence, which will include a state of traditional treatment hospital. I am pleased to share that this project is well on track. I also wish to share with you that with the support of the Indian authorities, the Ayush Chair at the University of Mauritius, we are currently working on the setting up of an Ayurvedic garden at the State House. Here, I need to acknowledge the immense contribution of the Indira Gandhi Center for Indian Culture under the of the then director, Acharya Prasit Chaji, and Indian High Commission for having forwarded our request to the Ministry of Ayush, which agreed to provide its full support to the project. I hereby extend our helpful gratitude to the Indian government and the Ayush Ministry for their invaluable support. Ladies and gentlemen, as I end my speech, let us pledge through this symbolical yet important gathering to spread the message of peace and well-being to the entire world through the practice of yoga. With this word, I hope that this conference will come forward with different resolutions and solutions for diversified threats to humanity. I thank you for your kind attention. I am really grateful to His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Mauritius, for accepting our invitation and for joining us. As His Excellency beautifully said, that world will always remain thankful to our Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi ji, who has given yoga to the entire world. And today, whole world is practicing yoga. I once again, and, and I believe that this is the power of yoga, which means this is the power of peace, love, humanity, that we all are together, though we are in different countries, but still together at this one single platform of Global Yoga Conference. So with the feeling of gratitude, I once again thank His Excellency for his inaugural address. 
Now I request Vandaniya Gurudev Swami Dr. Bharat Bhushan ji whose entire life is devoted to yoga and humanity who is the first ever yogi to receive padma award in the field of yoga back in 1991 who has received several honors for his services including lifetime achievement award from aims award samman one of the high honor from uh, state government Modern Vivekanand, Arjun Shri, and Pratap Shri of India, International Honor of Global Gem of Yoga, and many other honors. Who is the first ever yogi to be enlisted among fifty high and mighty people of India today? And of course, who is the one who conceptualized and initiated the International Yoga Festival back in nineteen ninety? I request Vandaniya Gurudev, without whom. nothing is possible without whose blessings nothing is possible i request vandini gurudev to kindly bless us with his words of wisdom ayyum masupal lai welcome all by our souls from different parts of the country different parts of the world as well in this series i am very grateful and i welcome the blessed soul his excellency chaturad singh rupam the president of mauritius secretary ayush Rajesh Kotecha ji director general of ICCR Kumar Tohin ji director of Murai Desai National Institute of Yoga for long with all his skills Shri Ishwar Basavareddy ji convener of the event acharya pratishtha ji time is very short and the tail is too long still the theme of this year's international day of yoga speaks for itself yoga is for humanity when maharaj patanjali gave us yoga darshana then in the beginning yoga was introduced as a tool to control the mind chitta vritti nirodha for this body was the tool mind was living in it so we exercised through different eight limbs of yoga to control the modifications of mind to give it a right direction but when finally after reaching a particular stage of samadhi when people asked what is yoga then introduction of yoga chitta vritti nirodha was not given the definition changed and it was well said that yoga samadhi samadhi is you bliss is yoga at first level at first stage of yogic journey it is up to body and mind but at top level it is raso vai sta yoga samadhi and through samadhi we reach the destination of raso vai sta the divine and divinity same is here in 2015 with the 
restless efforts of our visionary yogi prime minister shri narendra modi ji entire world has accepted yoga to be applied and accepted by all and international day of yoga as 21st june because this is a combination of 2 plus 1 3 त्रेमेकत्र संयम ब्रह्मा विष्णु महेश बैलेंस्ड एंड फाइनली ऑन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट ऑफ जून सन इज क्लोजेस्ट टू अर्थ एंड इट कैन गिव मैक्सिमम एनर्जी टू दिस वर्ल्ड सो ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट ऑफ जून वॉज डिसाइड when at murad desai national institute of yoga and at uh, ayush mesh we prepared the protocol common protocol for entire world then we had to keep so many things in mind what can be the easiest way to serve yoga for all so risk free practices were introduced practices for a disease free body practices for a calm mind practices for a flexible personality practices for balance were given but after 7 years there should be a change and that change is also given by our prime minister he said yoga for humanity yoga is not just for my body now in 7 years i should have trained myself to understand what yoga is in real sense very few people know especially at least i do know that when this concept was introduced in uno the concept was that we can transform the world not through weapons not through guns not through through violence not through these trivial victories but we can win the heart of people we can transform the mind of people we can give a thought process to the world to come closer to feel concern to be in love to be in cooperation and to establish the humanitarian values to awaken this thought process in each and every nation and each and every individual of the world so that we can make this world a beautiful place to live in these seven years now the changed situation is before us india is dominant only because world could understand that india thinks for all india loves all india cares for all india thinks for well being of the world with the concept of sarve bhavantu sukhina sarve santu niramaya sarve bhadrani pashyantu ma kashchi dukha bhav bhave india has a vision that we are the son of divine we are the children of divine and this entire globe is our family yatra vishwam bhavate ek needam this entire world is a globe it is a nest for us and we reside in it so we can't take liberty of paining others and this was the examination time the last two years of two more than two years rather of corona pandemic when this theme of yoga for humanity could be well understood by you i do well recollect 
that all were confined for undeclared curfew in their homes. And we could not even move out of our houses. But then also we continued thinking and the process went on. We could think that the entire world is worried and no vaccine is there. People are dying. People are being isolated. Several are dying before because of this COVID and many are dying because of being detached from the society. That time we were in our labs, Mokshayatan Yoga Sansthan, with the active cooperation of all medical sciences, may it be Ayurveda, may it be naturopathy, may it be homeopathy, may it be modern science of medicine, all work together and we could give management of COVID-19 through yoga to our government, to honorable PM and to honorable president and to public at large. And the result speaks that so many people survived only because they continued practicing prescribed yoga and yogic pranayams. They practiced applied foods as suggested by our Ministry of Ayush. And we just uh, spend our hands. We went to people with wider hands to accept them, to help them. We could cooperate with each other. None was left alone. Every man could give half of his plate to another one to meet his requirement. And this love for humanity brought a great change. Because we experienced it in not only Mokshayatan Yoga Sansthan's life, but all yogic institutes of India all centers of excellence, all institutions of public service, they were blessed with helping hands with this opinion only that yoga is for humanity. If we can't, don't think of humanity and we are confined to ourselves only, what to say of yogi, we are not even authorized to call ourselves men or human beings. This year, this concept has to be practiced more deeply. Another thing that I would like to speak here is that yoga calls for protection of its sanctity. Everybody knows that yoga is India's gift to entire world. Bharat, because when yoga was given, that time India does not, didn't exist. It was a very big country and known as Bharat Varsh. So this Bharat Varsh, which is called India today, is the motherland of yoga science. So people are of the world are not wrong if they expect anything new, if they expect solutions to their problems, if they expect new researches and advancement in yogic practices from India, they are not wrong. They should expect it because we, we have given this science. So entire responsibility is ours to enrich it, to keep it enriched. And and it can only happen when sanctity of yoga, originality of yoga is maintained. There's a threat of ignorance 
to this science because the organs are being called yoga the limbs are being called yoga the limbs of an individual cannot be called by his name that way we have to make it clear to people that we may practice any limb of at the same time we have to keep in mind that sanctity of the science has to be maintained and necessity is the mother of invention it has ever been known even when this mokshayatan yog sansthan was found because i was practicing yoga and sharing so it took my effort to the necessity gave us those pious souls in form of acharya pratishtha and so many other disciples that uh, introduced bharat college of in the beginning because sick people used to come spoiled youth used to come i used to apply that such that such pious souls are in front of me they are giving us their holy company filled with their wisdom with their experience to enrich this effort because yoga is not for me no yoga is not for mokshayatan or for a particular institution of india or abroad but it is for humanity we have to enrich this concept this year and we have to proceed further i thank you all once again and especially the guests because um, a lot more is to be done they have to look after several several events uh, global events rather but i mean out of your so busy a schedule president of mauritius could spare time for us secretary ayush could send save time spare time for us mr tuhin whom i see as a very awakened yoga practitioner in, in single meeting i could peep into him and um, same way um, mr ishwarvas reddy and uh, uh, secretary of ayush dr kotecha ji and uh, all who have joined this inaugural session from different corners of this world this, this beautiful earth i welcome them all and i feel myself blessed that my small dedication could make you uh, gather at this beautiful event thank you all god bless you all hari om thank you vandini gurudev for your words of wisdom and for your blessings uh as the director of uh, mokshayatan yog sansthan i am thankful to all the dignitaries his excellency the president of the republic of mauritius to secretary ayush to honorable ji ji iccr to director murarji desai national institute of yoga to dr radha kishun ji um president of the association of ayurvedic physicians who have joined us from mauritius and to mr dheeraj from gopio and all the dignitaries who have joined us today i am extremely thankful to ministry of ayush and to iccr for their support i am thankful to mokshaitan's media team and digital and technical team uh, and to each and every one who has helped us in organizing this event now let us have a look at the esteemed speakers joining us for this global yoga conference uh, from different corners of the world uh from 15th till 17th they will be conducting these sessions and also witness a beautiful kathe performance by shri hemant panwar ji and shrimati vishali panwar ji from canada namaste this is jinny malika chen from taiwan i'm very honor and pleasure to participate in this Global Yoga Conference. Thanks to Moksha Tam Yoga Sansthan of your invitation. Namaste. I am very honored to be in this great event. Namaste. I am Dr. Komal Chandra Radhakrishnan, Moksha Tam Yoga Sansthan, Acharya Pratishtha, Swami Bharat Bhushan Ji ko, apni tatha samast Mauritius vasiyon 
की ओर से हार्दिक शुभकामनाएं और योग दिवस के और बधाई इस आठवें योग दिवस का विषय है योग और मानवता ऋग्वेद का के एक मंत्र में यह कहा गया है कि मनुर्भव योग ही एक सर्वश्रेष्ठ प्रक्रिया है जिससे मानवता की आधारशिला बनती है धन्यवाद Good day. This is Nisha, Dr. Nishan Trikavender. I am a South African doctor coming from a wonderful family of passionate doctors. I'm currently practicing in Ireland. And I have created the ancient healing arts with Western medicine, traveled to India and China to study and research this ancient wisdom, studying under several masters including Acharya Pratishta ji and now I am privileged to share some of this knowledge and experience with you. Hello, namaste. My name is Karuna Mai and it's been 22 years that I'm studying yoga. I'm a somatic psychotherapist and a yoga teacher for 11 years now for the international conference. I want to expose the path of putting of yoga through a more therapeutic approach so please join and let's learn together see you soon om namo shivaya jay sri ram welcome to the international day of yoga's global yoga conference my name is swami bodhi chidananda our we're going to be giving is on introduction to kriya yoga so i welcome you to join me Cultural Center at Mali, Maldives, and uh, on the occasion of the International Day of Yoga, I want to congratulate everyone and extend my heartfelt greetings for a healthy world.
With this, we declare the conference open. I'm again thankful to all the dignitaries for joining us. Let's wind up this beautiful inaugural event with Shanti Bhatt. Om Dev Shanti Rantarikshagvam Shanti Gintavish Shanti Rapah Shanti Roshadayah Shanti Vanaspatayah Shanti Vishwedeva Shanti Brahma Shanti Sarvagvam Shanti Shanti Reva Shanti Sama Shanti Redi Om Shanti 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 Om Thank you everyone. Thank you so much.